Right, it is time for a reading challenge. Whoops, challenge check-in. There's all the cards. Hey everyone, it is Shannon and I'm super excited to be here today and to share with you how my third week of my reading challenge is going. In the month of May, I have challenged myself to read 2,000 pages from the books on my currently reading list um, and I have broken that down to 500 pages a week or 72 pages a day and the how I'm picking the titles is by random. Every week I pick five titles, three fiction, and two non-fiction, and those are the books that I try and read from that week. So goal is 500 pages from those five titles. I will link up above when I uh, shared what the five titles for this week were, as well as I did my week two recap. Every week feels like it's going a little bit differently, and this week is probably uh, the same. One of the challenges actually I found is because I did the vlogs, and those are going up a week later. Now that it's getting towards the end of the month, I am feeling a bit squished in terms of where to and when to release my videos because I don't like being behind. Like, so today I'm releasing videos from last week, but I'm already on to new books. So I want to be more in line with stuff, but it's going to take a little... I have no way, actually, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do it, but I do, by the end of the month, want to be up to date. So it might mean in the last week or week and a bit of the month that there's, like, the week two, three, uh, you know, how week three went, how week four got picked, and how week four went. So I, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try and figure it out. Anyway, for a reminder, the picks for uh, this week are, the fiction picks are the Edgar Allan Poe, the Ultimate Collection. For fiction, uh, Niall's Saga for fiction. That's an Icelandic saga. I'm actually still not sure if sagas are considered fiction or nonfiction. I'm not sure. Uh, Blood Magic by Nora Roberts, which was also a pick from week two. It's the first title get to get picked twice. For nonfiction, we have Go Ahead in the Rain, Notes to a Tribe Called Quest by Hanif Abdurkib. And the other nonfiction is... There'll be peace when you are done. Actors and fans celebrate the legacy of Supernatural, edited by Anne Z. Zubernis. So it's kind of interesting that both of the nonfiction picks ended up being entertainment related. Supernatural is a TV show. A Tribe Called Quest is a band. So uh, yeah, so that's been really interesting. So in terms of my numbers, I gotta say they haven't been great. So um, I started the week off with a 43, not 62, then a 67 also not 62. Then I got 101, so that's pretty good, and then 96. So overall, I am, my total for the week so far is 312, and I have come to an average of 78 pages a day. So that means if I stay on track for 72 pages a day, I will hit 500. I just, I, I bet it's, it's challenging. I'm not, I'm not feeling it as much this week. Um, I didn't do, on Sunday, I didn't read a little bit from everything. On Sunday, I had a family event. Uh, my uh, brother-in-law's father uh, had a landmark birthday, and so we had a celebration on Zoom. He's in the Netherlands, um, so people um, Zoomed in from the Netherlands or here in Canada, and it was just really great to see. There's some people I haven't seen for years, and some people I haven't met before at all, so it was a lot of fun, but it was, you know, a big, you know, jovial family event, and so um, I didn't get as much reading done, and that's fine because it was wonderful to celebrate Chris. Um, so yeah, so that was, um, um, so I got lower numbers because I haven't had, I went to a birthday party. That makes total sense, right? <laughs> it actually makes total sense. Um, another um, addition to this week is I have added, I give myself one extra title and this week the extra title was Happy Narwhal Days <laughs> by Ben Clanton. This is the fifth Narwhal book. I think it's actually a little shorter than the other ones. It's a kid's picture book slash graphic novel. I read it in 10 minutes so I'm already done my extra read so I did let myself pick a second one which is Whiskerella, which is the fifth hamster princess book. Again this is a kid's book. It's got lots of illustrations, big text um and it's going to expire from the library so i need to read it so i'm i'm doing two extras this week but i also have my bunny read um this week which is arusha and the song of death the second in the pandeva 
quartet, which is now quintet, because there's going to be a, a sixth, fifth book. And this is by Roshani Chotsky. This I am re reading with Izzy, Punk Rocko PA, and with Kay Kelly. Hey, Kay Kelly! Um, and uh, by the time this video goes up, the live show for this will have already happened, um, just because these videos are a little behind. Um, but I am reading this, and it's a little slow going for me. Not that I'm not enjoying it, I'm just really shocked to say that my reading pace for this is slow. I'm at a page per minute, so, and that feels strange given that it's middle grade, and I really want to enjoy it, but I really need to kick up the pace, um, because I think I'm at 45%, but I still have, like, 200 pages left, so this is, like, and I need to read this for the live show, which is going to be Tuesday, um, so that is a bit of a struggle, I will say, um, but, yeah, so, so far the reading is going okay, um, uh, I am not not, the one that I am most likely to finish is um, the A Tribe Called Quest book. This is so good. Like it's a, it's interesting that it's part memoir and part music history because he talks so much about like the band and how they got together and the different um, challenges that they faced over the years and also his memories of listening to the music when he listened to it, what he was doing at the time, what his life was like at the time, and then relaying stuff about his life and his history to things that he sees in the band and the challenges that they have. And all throughout, you can feel his love of the music so much. And um, I am really appreciating this. And uh, the, uh, Tribe Called Quest is a band that I listened to at a very particular time. And I'm actually really sad that I didn't keep up with them over the years. And um, so now I have to go back and uh, revisit the albums I know and uh, enjoy the ones that I haven't heard either at all or as much. So, but I have one chapter left to this. This one I will finish. I'm very confident that over three days I will be able to finish the 30 pages left in this. But from the rest of them, I'm not sure. Like now, Saga, not likely. However, I have come to a really good pace with reading this. Um, I've done two things that have helped. One, I am not timing my, I'm timing my reading this for this, but I'm not giving myself 20 minutes. I'm simply reading as much as many chapters the chapters are very short this is an Icelandic saga it is definitely heavier reading um but um I just read as many chapters as form like a mini arc because they have this they'll have like conflict within a couple of people and then it gets resolved or they switch to someone else or someone goes on a bit of an adventure and you know that comes to an end or someone has um uh, works towards having a relationship and then that comes to an end. So I just read the chapters that involve those sort of mini arcs and if then there's any chapter, if there's any character developments or relationships like um, when they, they, he recently went through all of Miao's sons, who they were, so I wrote them down because my goodness gracious, I still have like 350 pages of this so those guys are gonna come back. So I just put their names and a character thing and then if they ended up getting married, because a lot this is a family saga, so it's a lot about relationships and conflicts and stuff like that. So that kind of stuff is going to come up again and again. There's no way I'm going to finish this in time. I still have like 300 pages. 383! <laughs> and then for Blood Magic, again, I feel like I should finish this. I did come to a stable page count finally with my calculation with this one. Finally, it looks like 517 pages. My goodness, it just, I don't know. Anyway, I am 40%-ish through. Uh, this is a paranormal romance, third in the series. Um, I am enjoying it. The There is definitely some angst between the couple in this one. They are resistant to the relationship for external factors, and they're both resistant, which is an unusual thing um, in terms of dynamics, in terms of the romances that I've written. Usually one person is like more interested in each other. This one, they're both sort of said, like, we can't do this, um, but of course, it's the third in the series and they're the last two people so I think so. There's also a family legacy history magic-y piece to this. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, that being said, it I am, I keep on keeping my eye on Pirate's Passion, which is one of my picks from last week. I have 70 pages left. I haven't read from this this week. I keep on telling myself if I get my pages in, I can read it. But so far, I've never finished my pages and been able to stay awake long enough to read it so maybe I will by the end of the week what haven't I talked about okay and then uh so there'll be peace when you are done uh the nonfiction book about supernatural I'm enjoying this um I only like to read two to three entries per day so although I have less than 100 pages left I don't know if I'll finish it it's possible 
Um, the last one I read was Chad, is it, yeah, Chad Lindbergh, who played Ash. And he's so awesome. He had, I l really liked his entry. And then there's a lot of ones that are from from fans or writers. And oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. When I did my announcement video for this one and I talked about this picture. Was it this picture? Oh, it was a different picture actually. It wasn't that picture. And I talked about how there was um, Jared Padalecki, Misha Collins, and then I said there was Dean Ackles. <laughs> Jensen Ackles. Dean is the character name. I don't think I've ever done that before. My goodness gracious. Anyway, so this has been really interesting to read. It is so amazing to see how much the show means to people and how much the community around the show has helped people, whether they be fans or actors or writers. Like, it's just formidable. One of the weird things about this, and I felt the same way with uh, Family Don't End in Blood, which is the, a similar uh, collection, is that I'm not involved in the supernatural fandom. So when they talk, when people talk about like um, going to conventions or meeting people or knowing other fans of supernatural, it's like I just haven't had that experience because I really love the show, but I've mostly loved it from like more like afar. Like I haven't been part of, of the fandom really. So um, like I know some people that watch the show, but I don't, um, like, I haven't gone to conventions or, or, of course, now there isn't stuff like that, really. They do some stuff online, so... But the show really has done a lot for awareness of a lot of different things, especially mental health, the Always Keep Finding campaign, um, and uh, a lot of stories are centered around that as well. So, um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying this. It's potential I can finish it. That would be interesting if I finish the two non-fictions. And then for the Edgar Allan Poe collection, I'm not having as much luck with this one. I have read... The first collection, the first story is called The Gold Bug, and I finished that, and I've started The Murders of Rue Morgue, and I think I will finish that, but that probably will be it. And so that's two out of the 41 stories, and I had only read one before, so I'll bet you three at 31. But on the other hand, it's one of the reasons why I think this challenge works, because thinking about this book as a whole, thinking about trying to plot out reading every one of the 38 like things um works left some of those are poems and really short but still um like it feels daunting however I read two this week and then it'll go back in the jar and then hopefully I will read some later and because they're stories I don't need to read them all continuously that being said the gold bug did have some stuff in it that I was a little uncomfortable with um the depiction of one of the characters there was use of the n-word um from a character describing themselves and so it's just and it like this is you know old right I can't, I can't remember I think it's like 18 I don't know if it has the dates of the works in it um and Edgar Allan Poe has passed away um but I just I wasn't I, uh, five volumes. The first published as the first published as the works of Edgar Allan Poe in five volumes in 1884. So all of these are 1884 or before. So this is a while ago, but still, it's complicated and uncomfortable. And I want to know more about him as a person, uh, in terms, uh, in those terms, and you know, see how I feel about reading his work, continuing to read his work. Um, so, um, yeah, I feel like I just, I got burned by Lovecraft. I didn't realize, you know, so I feel like could do a little more research and, um, and that would be a smart thing. So, um, yeah, but so I'm reading The Murders of Rue Morgue right now and that's probably all I will read. Um, but it's not about the finishes, right? Like, my goal is 500 a week, so I still have, what was I at, 300 and something? 300 and, 312, so 188 left. Um, and so, yeah, and so I will do a wrap up for this week and then I'll do my week four picks and then I probably will just do a week four wrap up. Uh, because I decided to do the vlogs, I ended up behind in terms of when these got rolled out. Um, and so I need, there will be a bumpy week of when the videos are released because one of the things I realize I'm not enjoying is that the books I'm reading now are not the books that 
reflect in the videos that are going up on the channel. So it's weird because I want to share like on Instagram or whatever, whatever I'm reading now, but I also hesitate just in case people are watching the vlogs and I don't want to spoil what the pics are and stuff like that. So yeah, so that got a bit complicated, um, but you know, but I'm just trying to roll with it and just problem solving. And so yeah, so it'll be a bit weird at the end of the month. And I know I've gone from doing like almost like one video a week to like a video every day for like a couple weeks and then it'll go back to just a couple videos a week and I can't decide if I want to keep doing this through June and beyond. Um, I do have my eye on a couple of readathons in June and there is also something that I want to do in June potentially and I'm trying to decide if I want to do that as a reward if I get to the 2,000 pages or not so I'm not sure about that but I'm trying to keep my eye focused on May because at this point there's still a fair amount of May left and I haven't even started week four so I want to keep it here but then I don't I've also run the numbers in terms of when I would finish all the books if I stay at this pace or stay at this project. And it's a long time. Like, it's it's December. December. Anyway, I run the numbers, whether that's working through page count or maybe trying to finish one book a week or one title a week. And then I'm also like, do I want to do that? Like, you know, how committed am I to finishing these books? Like, right now I'm working on reading pages. Do I want to shift? Do I want to give that much of my reading year to this project? When can I bring in new titles? Can I ever bring in new titles? Do I have to complete X amount in a certain genre? You know, and then through this, there's definitely some series books that I've read that I want to keep reading. Like, I really want to keep reading the series that the Pirate's Passion is in. And I really want to read the next Mercy Thompson. So I need to figure out that stuff. And I probably need to, like, wait till the month is closed and reflect on, back on things as a whole. But I'm starting to come up with ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so but I haven't started any new books that I don't think I can finish which is uh, very very I'm very happy about that um, but I am starting to have my eyes stray to other projects or whether I want to sit with this I never said I was going to do this all year I said I was going to do it for May do I want to how much do I want to get? would it be so incredibly boring to hear me talk about the same 30 books from now until December would it be incredibly boring for me to read them? Probably not. So far, I've pretty much enjoyed everything I've read, with the exception of the po like the I also the gold bug. I didn't really love the story. I didn't love the storytelling style, and um, I, I didn't like the storytelling device that it used, and I didn't like the depiction of one of the characters, and I felt complicated about a bunch of things. So that wasn't great. But other than that, I really pretty much have enjoyed everything. So you know. I like the books, I just need to keep reading them. So I don't know. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But those are some ideas that I've had so far. And we shall see how things go. So I think the next video will probably be my week three wrap up. And I might do that and then do my picks in a separate video. Um, I've just noticed they've gotten a bit long. Like they get a bit, I get a bit like stressed. And so it might be better to do the wrap up and the picks in a separate video. So I think I might do that next week, this week future week and it's all in the past is it the future of time yeah I got to do a schedule because it's my brain's trying to hold it all and it's a bit much so there you go that's how week three has gone so far uh, let me know which one of these do you think I'm most likely to finish if at all or should I just stop thinking about finishing and read my pages <laughs> maybe I should just read my pages read those pages Shannon yeah okay thank you so much for watching